This is just a fun little lake contour project that can be done with free software. I'm going to use a CNC to cut these out, but the contours could certainly be drawn with a Dremel tool or router or something very simple. So we're going to start with a contour map. This is just a little teeny lake in Wisconsin. A lot of websites will give you lots of, lots of lake choices. I just picked this one because it kind of fit the screen. This is Forest Lake, and this is what the lake looks like. So we're going to take a snip of this, just a screenshot, and move it over into Inkscape and trace out the contours. We've got our screen capture of that, that lake. The parameters that I've got set here on the screen are for my CNC deck, so this will fit nicely in there. And the next step we're going to do is just use the ZA tool and start tracing our outlines. So let me get going with that and then I'll bring it up after those are traced. I've got the outside or the outline perimeter traced and I've got my transparency set so I can see the layers underneath here. So the next thing we're going to do is get going on tracing the inner circles. Okay, we've got our lake traced. You can make this as detailed as you want, or whether the roads will be outlined as well, or any other data. So we're just going to save this as an SVG and open it up in JS Cut. This is the open screen for JSCut.org. Really awesome CAM program, nothing to download. Let's launch it, open our file. Got our lake map. We're going to start with the inside. And something to keep in mind is the depth of the wood that you're going to use. So I'm going to use a piece of wood that's about a half an inch thick. So for this first cut, we're going to make this a pocket. And I don't want it to go through the wood. So I'm going to go down to about 0.45. Slow down my cut a little bit. And we're going to make each pass a little shallower. And generate. After you generate, you can see the lines. We'll go to our next level. Create operation, pocket. We're going to make this one about point. 3, 0. Everything else stays the same. And that's there. Go to our next level. Create operation. Make this say point two zero. As we get more shallow. And then we'll do our last. Create operation make this maybe 0.10 and generate. You can see all of our levels here and if we go to simulate we can see our depths. Back side and the front side. So we'll save this and open it up in mock. And actually before running it over to mock add a little text to it. I like using the scraps that I've got laying around rather than buying new materials for these projects. 
So I've got a lot of bits and pieces of pine and we're going to glue these up and use this for the sign material. Got our two pieces glued up, ready to load up on the CNC machine. We've got our wood all held down nice and snug, so time to start cutting. This will take the better part of a couple hours. And at the very beginning of this lake cut, That cut took about an hour and 49 minutes. There's our sign with a quick vacuum. Need to do a little bit of cleanup and put some paint on here and see what we've got. So far, so good. The letters at the bottom are a little close together, so they're not as clean as I would like. But the depth and the lake looks pretty good. Spray painted blue will sand off the outside so that the lake and the letters and numbers are still blue. And that shows the sign. Came out pretty good. Need to make sure that my text is a little bit larger next time. Check the simulation a little more closely. But that shows the contours of a small lake in Wisconsin. Thanks very much for taking a look.